Lesson 319 I came for the salvation of the world. Hi there. How about we shed the shadows of false arrogance and gain a clearer understanding of our true purpose in this world? Let's explore the insights Lesson 319 has to offer us. I came for the salvation of the world. Here is a thought from which all arrogance has been removed and only truth remains. For arrogance opposes truth. But when there is no arrogance the truth will come immediately and fill up the space the ego left unoccupied by lies. Only the ego can be limited and therefore it must seek for aims which are curtailed and limiting. The ego thinks that what one gains, totality must lose. And yet it is the will of God I learn that what one gains is given unto all. Father, your will is total. And the goal which stems from it shares its totality. What aim but the salvation of the world could you have given me? And what but this could be the will myself has shared with you? In other words, this lesson revisits the theme of true humility, contrasting it with what might superficially appear as arrogance. It teaches us that letting go of arrogance creates space for truth in our hearts and minds. Arrogance acts like a barrier, preventing clear perception. But what is this arrogance we're talking about? Our ego, our limited self, believes in our separation from God and others. Consequently, it can't fathom that we came into this world with a purpose larger than it can grasp. It might even suggest that believing we came for the salvation of the world is arrogant. But first, let's clarify something. It's not that just one of us, one of our illusory separate identities, came for the salvation of the world while the others did not. In fact, every one of us has come for the salvation of the world. Similarly, when we say in the lessons of this course that we are the Holy Son of God. Lesson 191 I am the Holy Son of God Himself. Lesson 252 The Son of God is my identity. It's not that we're claiming that I am, or you are, the Holy Son of God, and the others are not. Rather, we are collectively and holographically the Holy Son of God, all of us together. Of course our world tells us otherwise. Who could accept being controlled once aware of this divine heritage? Who would harm, steal from, or manipulate another, knowing we are all one? Who would withhold resources from their brothers? Who could support waging wars or the concept of separate nations with conflicting interests? Who would strive for societal status, access to resources, or recognition above others, when we realize that our true self resides within everyone? Lesson 266 My holy self abides in you, God's Son. Our ego, the part of us that believes in our separation from God and one another, makes us vulnerable to the conditioning of the world we live in. For that part, Claiming I came for the salvation of the world is seen as arrogance, and the world around us usually supports that viewpoint. However, we also have another part of us, which we've learned to call our true self. This part knows we're all connected and that we're part of God. Deep down, we know this to be true in our hearts. From this perspective, saying I came for the salvation of the world places each of us in a different light. It implies that it would actually be arrogant not to accept that we came for the world's salvation, as it would mean opposing the will of God Himself, the will of our Father. That, indeed, would be true arrogance. Saying I came for the salvation of the world is a humble acknowledgement and appreciation of our true purpose here. Embracing this understanding can lead us to live our day today in a completely different way. I came for the salvation of the world. I came for the salvation of the world. I came for the salvation of the world. Isn't that amazing? How about giving it a try today? Let's absorb this lesson and attempt to live it out throughout our day. Then, observe how our day changes. Whether something simple or amazing happens due to this shift in awareness, please share it in the comment section. I'm sure it will be inspiring for everyone.
continue with your practices morning and evening, and remind yourself of this powerful message every hour. When you notice thoughts or actions that suggest you are separate from others and from God, or when you find yourself playing small for any reason, gently remind yourself. I came for the salvation of the world. You're doing great, and thank you for joining in this beautiful journey to save the world together. See you tomorrow for another powerful lesson. Just a quick reminder, we're currently exploring the section titled, What is the Last Judgment? If you haven't watched the introduction to this section yet, simply click on the video link that should pop up on your screen shortly. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment. Thanks. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. There's a new lesson every day.